What is going on, you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're reacting to Undead Unlock episode 14 called Crimson Bullet. If you like Undead Unlock, smash that like button. Follow my channel if you want to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you stay up to date. Let's go. Damn, it feels like I haven't watched this in forever, but this is where we were. She told him to get to the, the top floor because the radius of this propulsion, if you will, Oh my gosh, let's go Tatiana. Untouchable. Oh! Mental. You see how his hand just like shriveled away completely. Man, I wonder if she's gonna be able to kill unrepair. Damn, she's crazy powerful. Oh my gosh. I wonder if he's gonna die by Andy's hand. That would be interesting. Even though, honestly, he's a cool character. Oh yes, and then she like... Yeah. Damn. This is how we're starting? Crazy. Whoa! Is that an artifact? On his, on his legs? They're bound to have a getaway plan. Oh yes, remember they came there on that, like, whale, basically. Oh damn, Chikara, unmove. So I wonder if he's able to slow certain things down while not slowing other things down. Oh my gosh, he can. Man, I actually missed the show. Okay, so we're doing the recap. But I, uh, honestly, I, I missed the show. Like, last week I didn't, I didn't like, wasn't available on Wednesday. Because they said it was only being released in like two days or something from the Wednesday. So I just decided to give it a break till today. Yeah, so I mean, this is obviously the recap, right? She was in the, the Mafia's auction, she killed her parents, she's from Russia. The powers were passed to her when she was five, meaning that someone else probably had it before her, because that's how the powers work. But that's the thing, like I said, Unrepair's cool, right? He's a cool type of character, but he has to die in order to save Fuko. And I mean, it's not like he can, he's going to just stop the bleeding i don't even know if he can do that i'm stuck making an ugly face <gasps> oh my gosh <laughs> Oh, right. It's a blind spot. So because the finger went into that trajectory, it stopped it. Wow. Oh. He added a spin to make it curve. They're gone. Oh, Blade Runner. I said, is that an artifact on his legs? Blade Runner. Oh. Man, he's rocking an artifact. There's still a lot more that we don't know, right? Like, where did the artifact come from? Your scaredy cat nature is your floor. Man, he's fast with it as well. Oh my gosh. Managed to slip under her radar. Oh my god, she's not in the thing anymore. Instantaneous release. 
Bro, she's literally like an entity. Oh, wow. The only one dying is you. Oh. Oh. I want to do the same. <laughs> Blade Runner. What an ins. Oh, you see how he fused it? Oh my gosh. Come on, pull yourself together, Chikara. Man, that Blade Runner artifact looks amazing. <laughs> Nothing will ever hit its mark. So, what is her ability? Like, unhit, maybe. But is she running on the water? Oh right, because she's untouchable. Literally nothing can touch her, not even the water. Not even air it looks like. The more you desire to live, the more I negate you. Man, this is gonna be intense. Oh. And now the meteor's coming. I got you in the diagonal line between us. Oh my gosh, parts bullet. Crimson, Crimson bullet. <laughs> right through his heart. So folks like that do exist. <laughs> Oh, Crimson Bullet. <laughs> but I mean, she's not gonna heal if he doesn't die. He's definitely not dying today. Maybe they have someone who can like heal everything crazy but i mean they won but they still got away <laughs> just tell me if you're okay Oh wow, so he didn't have to die. This is what I was saying. He's a cool character. It would be cool to see. <laughs> Look at Clothy. <laughs> is the <gasps> the meteor. <laughs> oh, this is before, basically, is what they're saying. Damn. I mean, it was a crazy good plan. But here's another thing, right? Weren't they supposed to capture him? Which means they're gonna get another 
penalty, are they not? Oh, what I was saying is that Clothy is like a life vest. <laughs> because he becomes every anything that the person wearing it desires. <laughs> Perverted onion. But the thing is, in a week, they could have someone else. And then he becomes someone they have to wipe out. I'm sure that he's gonna join them though, right? Neon. But like, the thing is, he does go to school as well. So it's kind of like... And plus, everybody around him just speaks English. Oh, so they gave him the week to decide, most probably. Oh, he has the necktie translator. Interesting. Wait, what? What? Wait, what? He's a kid. Oh my gosh, what is this? Is he gonna join them now? Oh my gosh, of course it's over there. <laughs> of course it's over there. Holy smokes, what a good episode. What a good episode. Like I said, I really did miss the show in general, but... <laughs> what, a what a shock, what a surprise. I mean, we had... First of all, like in the last episode, we had that crucial moment where, you know, Fuka was gonna die in an hour. They had to kill Unrepair, and... Tatiana released that, I don't know, they called it a UT something, compression explosion or something. Basically all that untouchable energy that's compressed within that, the robotic ball gets released. And then we saw she can actually control it as she wants to. But basically like, she was just like, and she's untouchable. So she's running on the water and stuff because nothing can actually touch her. And basically what happened was that they were at this crucial moment and like Andy comes up with the plan of how unmoved Chikara can actually just stop everything but it's only everything in his line of sight and so because he was hiding his finger over here behind on, by his left shoulder in a blind spot he was able to send the parts bullet but once it reaches that trajectory where his eyes are it slows down again but he added a curve to it so as soon as he released the unmoved latla wasn't able to actually stop it because I, I don't think she can deflect anything that is random they mentioned or that she doesn't expect so she wasn't expecting the tip of his finger to spin like that and then yeah they they used the unlock she kissed him on the cheek and basically i thought they were going to use the meteor to hit against them but essentially they used the meteor to splash into the ocean so it could shoot andy in a different direction behind unrepair behind rip and so because he was behind the body Chikara couldn't see him and he was able to release the crimson crimson bullet which was insane and actually went right through his chest then obviously the unrepair stopped working you know and he started healing and you know Fuka the wound eventually healed and now it's even more trippier because unrepair shows up because they gave Chikara a week to decide if he wants to join the union or not but they literally see Rip arrive there and he's a kid and Latla was the one who said it's not like he's even gonna die so they obviously have some form of technology or something and i think now he's probably gonna join the union I, I don't actually know to be honest it's very confusing we'll have to see in the next episode but what one thing that was really cool is the um, what was it the blade runner artifact so sick and even when he walked in at the end now that was just looked amazing we'll have to see what happens next week but that's gonna be it for me if you like undead unlock smash that like button follow my channel if you want to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you stay up to date because your boy is releasing every day of the week i'm gonna leave the last episode right up over here thanks for watching if you're watching i'm out peace in a bit